Solids in contact 4. Here we have the elevation and plan of a sphere. And we're asked to draw a smaller sphere in this position with the center directly over this 30 degree line. To do that, position it in the elevation in contact with the sphere and in contact with the horizontal plane. Project it down get the plan and then rotate it using the center of the large sphere. Find the center for the sphere as you've done in Solids in Contact 2. Now draw the circle. Now rotate the center round and that gets you the new location for the center. Draw in the sphere and project up and get the elevation. The next part of the question is to draw a smaller sphere in this position in contact with this sphere and the larger sphere here. S to start off, we position it in this location in contact with the large sphere and in contact with the ground. Project it down and get the plan of it in this place and then Using the center of the large sphere as radius, rotate the small sphere around. Now rotate the small sphere around. And that line there is the path traced by the center of the small sphere as it revolves. Now we do the same with this one. Draw the small sphere in the elevation. Get the plan of it and rotate it around. So find the center as you did in solids in contact too. That's the center. Join the center to get the point of contact. And that's the point of contact there. Draw vertically down. And that's the center for the plan. And rotate that center around. And where those two arcs meet, that's the center for the small sphere. Draw the sphere, project up and horizontally across and that gets you the elevation of the small sphere. And that's a little bit of colour added there now. Now I want to find the point of contact between each of these spheres. To do that, if we take these two here, the point of contact is there. Bring that point down and bring out the centre and that gets you the point in plan and that's the point of contact there now rotate that point around to the position we require join the two centers and that's the point of contact between those two spheres to get the point of contact between this sphere and this sphere the original sphere is in this position here that's the first center we drew Join that centre to the original sphere and that gets the point of contact there. Draw vertically down and that's it there. Now rotate that point around and that's the point of contact there. Now the point of contact between these two smaller spheres where the two meet here at this point, that's the point of contact. Draw that vertically down and that's the point of contact there. Rotate that around using the centre. Join those two centres there now and that gets us the point we require. One, two, three in plan. To get them in the elevation, join the centres. Now bring this point up vertically. And that's the first one. Bring this point up to this line. And that's the point of contact there. And for the third point, it's on this line here. That's it in plan. Bring that up. And that's the point found there, the third point. And that's solids in contact for complete.